Hey guys, Haz here at Shield K9, and people often ask me, what is the best option in terms of a family dog? What is the breed that is best for the family? Wait right here, I'll be right back with the answer to that question. We can pause there. Okay guys, so as you can see, Golden Retriever, all right? Now, I know some of you might be thinking, oh come on, what about German Shepherds? What about Kenna Corsos? What about Malwas? Has you don't even have a Golden Retriever. I don't have one, but I'll tell you this. If I just wanted an easy dog, if I wanted a dog that would just hang out with my family, I didn't really have any expectations beyond a positive companionship experience, Golden Retriever would be top of my list and followed closely by Yellow or Chocolate Lab. I just have a thing for the Yellow and the Chocolate. It's not that the Black Labs are any, uh, there's a problem with them. Hey, buddy! Yeah, look at you! You're so cute! <laughs> okay, all right. So there, just, just that. Hey, come up! Yeah! This is Link, and Link is a Golden Retriever puppy. He's actually owned by Steven, our general manager. And he is just very typical of the breed. Happy-go-lucky, active, outgoing. It's not that you don't have to do any work with these dogs. It's, they often have a temperament that's very conducive to families. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, guys. This is based on my experience as a trainer. I've trained 1,000 plus dogs by now. And usually when I'm getting dogs, I want you guys to keep in mind that I'm getting the dogs in their work at their worst, right? Most people don't say, hey, let's spend lots of money on dog training because my dog is so well behaved. Usually we're getting the dogs when either they have a behavioral problem or they have, um, you know, a, a, a obedience problems. We're not usually getting dogs at their best. So I get to see dogs at their worst and I get to see them on a regular basis. And I'm gonna tell you, if you want a dog, if you wanna stack the odds in your favor, of getting something super easy to deal with. Hey, Linky! Link! God, jump on board, come here. I like him too, he's such a nice dog, <laughs> right? If you wanna stack the odds in your favor of having a positive and relatively easy experience as dog ownership goes, Golden Retriever's the best. Um, yellow Lab, Chocolate Lab, Black Lab, Labs are really good too. Now look, I know some people are gonna get upset with this. They're gonna say, well, I saw, I've seen a lot of golden retrievers that have issues. Listen, I see golden retrievers almost exclusively that have issues. They're issues in comparison to all the other breeds that we deal with, and we've pretty much dealt with literally every breed, including Chihuahuas. We've dealt with everything, from Great Danes to Chihuahuas, okay? For sure, the golden retriever and the Labrador retrievers have the least amount of issues. Oh, look, he's chasing a butterfly. <laughs> like, this is what I'm talking about. You guys missed it. Chasing little yellow butterflies. Very cool. Anyway, this this is the whole point is that even at their worst, they're better than the other dogs. Okay, in terms of ease of, of dealing with the problem. It's so funny whenever someone's like, oh, I've got a golden retriever and he's so bad and blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bring him, bring him, bring him, bring him. Right? We're all we we're just like so excited. Everyone's like, hey, we got a golden retriever coming. Right? There's a reason for that. We got a lab coming. Right? And. The reality is they're just easier dogs to deal with. They're very trainable, they're very social, they're, they're happy-go-lucky. They're the perfect dog, in my opinion, for a family dog if you're not after, you know, a bit more of a utility. Now, I'm not saying, listen, I personally, guys, I'm talking myself out of business here. I sell German Shepherds, okay? I sell Belgian Malwa, I sell working breeds. And now that the Golden Retriever and the Labs aren't a working breed, you can get them field bred and those dogs tend to have a lot more intensity and a lot more drive. I'm pretty sure Link is a show dog, like he's from Show Lines. I could be wrong, I have to ask Steven. But even still, even the field bred Labs and the field bred Goldens, even if they have a higher level of energy and intensity, they're still easier to deal with than, on average, than most other dogs. So, you know, look, I get it. If you have your heart for me, that wasn't my, like as much as I love the breed, I love the Goldens, I love the Labs, for me, what I want out of a dog can only be given to me by dogs like the German Shepherd, by dogs like the Belgian Malinois, and so on and so forth. But I still, as somebody that trains a lot of family dogs, as somebody that deals with a lot of families, um, for me, these are the easiest, if, if you want to kind of rate dogs as, as, as user-friendly, these are generally the most user-friendly dogs. Yeah, come on. 
Ah, yes. These are generally the most user-friendly dogs um, that you can get. So in my opinion, from a, tra a professional trainer that's been training dogs for many years, um, you know, if I had to pick between a bad golden retriever, a bad, uh, you know, Kenna Corso, a bad German Shepherd, a bad Malinois, a bad, you know, a uh, pit bull, <laughs> I'm picking the Golden Retriever every single time, right? It is going to be an easier deal. So that's my little spiel on the best family dog. In my opinion, the best, the absolute best dogs for the family. And it's not, again, guys, don't get offended if you have a pit bull, if you have a German Shepherd. I sell a lot of German Shepherds personally, right? I sell a lot of Malwas, and a lot of them are wonderful family dogs, but they take a little more work up front, right? And there are things that come with the breed because they're bred a specific way to do specific jobs that make them a little bit more um, work in terms of turning them into the fantastic family dog that you want them to be, right? On average, again, we're speaking in broad generalities. There's always exceptions to the rule. Uh, you know, I'm, for sure I've met, you know, a golden retriever or two that are just horrendous family dogs. In fact, we have one in there that when the owner, the owner was gonna put the dog down and we actually, one of our trainers, um, half actually decided to adopt the dog. And this golden retriever is an absolute ass, okay? Like he will take advantage of you and not just like ass, like he'll jump on you. Like he'll actually hurt somebody. But it's very, very rare on average. Like this golden retriever is like literally probably the only one I've seen that's that, that bad, right? The most of them compared to the other breeds, a lot easier to deal with. So guys, I hope I didn't offend anybody. I'm just giving you guys the truth from a from a professional dog trainer's perspective, from someone that sees every breed and have, have has actually trained them, not just seen them, trained them, spent you know a lot of time working with them and, and dealing with their behavioral issues, so on and so forth. Golden Retriever, Yellow Lab, Chocolate Lab, Black Lab. That's the way you want to go. Of course, look if you're going to look at these puppies, make sure you pick a breeder that has a good reputation that has dogs that are healthy. And you know, when you go look at the puppy, you wanna see a nice outgoing puppy like Link is here. You can see he's very outgoing, he's active. You don't want the puppy hiding in the back of the box. Okay guys, so I hope this helps you. If you disagree with me, make sure you comment below. Like, subscribe, and what, whatever breed you happen to have, we have a full suite of online training videos. Check us out online um, shieldk9.ca and we you can join us and train with us online from anywhere in the world if you want to train with us in person give us a call come down visit and we'll be happy to help you and again if you any breed any breed any problem we will work with you we will we will get it done